Sunday today. Um, the boys have gone with Tom to go and collect our shopping, um, mostly to give the Easter Bunny time to come and hide Easter eggs for the Easter egg hunt. <laughs> um, we do click and collect so that's nice and easy because they can just stay in the car and Tom can just pack or pack everything. Um, but yeah, it looks, I, I've, I've checked outside, I was under strict, instru strict instructions from the children not to look outside in case the Easter Bunny saw me and ran away. But, you know, I, I heard some noises and it all went quiet. So I've had a quick peek outside and it looks like the Easter Bunny has been. I can see some Easter eggs hidden in the garden. <laughs> So um, when the kids get back, they are extremely excited about an Easter egg hunt. Um, I can't find their Easter baskets anywhere. I'm sure we have some Easter baskets. I'm sure we used them last year. Maybe I'll have a look through my photos and see what they used last year for the Easter egg hunt. I'm not sure. Um, but I've managed to dig out a few alternatives. We can have a Mario hat as a basket. That seems like a good size. Um, there's a couple of bags which are a bit boring but you know we've got a lovely dino bag and a little rucksack that they could use. Alternatively we could have a Halloween themed Easter egg hunt with Halloween baskets. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll let them choose. <laughs> um, I am just going to make the most of having another Oh, possibly 20 minutes, maybe, of peace and quiet. I've got a cup of tea. Um, I nearly spilt that, lifting it up. And I'm going to carry on working on um, the little baby vertebrae that I'm working on, because I'm actually quite near, I'm only about five centimetres away from finishing um, the body, actually, which is really good, because I might be able to get this finished in the next couple of weeks if I crack on with it. Um, but yeah, I really do love this colourway. So yeah, that is my morning so far. Um, we don't have a lot planned today. We're going to do, obviously, Easter egg hunt. The boys are excited about that. Um, Arthur has requested a Mario Kart tournament, a family Mario Kart tournament later, and we might play a couple of board games with them, something like that. Have a bit of a family afternoon. Um, and then Tom is cooking roast lamb for tea tonight, which will be really nice. I haven't had lamb in ages. I really like lamb. Lamb and mint sauce is one of my favourite kind of roasts, I guess. Um, so, yeah, that's the plan.
kids are playing nicely and um, I've finished the body of the baby vertebrae that I'm working on. So I picked up my colouring. I've not touched this in ages, um, but I've had this book for absolutely years. This is The Enchanted Forest um, by Joanna Basford. Ignore the children noise in the background. Um, an inky quest and colouring book. It's kind of a fairy tale themed um, book. I've not done the beginning bits. Um, but yeah, it's it's lovely. It's a very intricate one. I've been really, really enjoying it kind of over the years. I've had this a number of years, actually. Um, my only My only thing is that because it's kind of enchanted forest themed, there's a lot of green. <laughs> but it's been really good fun. So this is the Simnel cake. As you can see, somebody has taken a slice out of it already. Um, but I thought I'd tell you a bit about Simnel cake. It's a very traditional British, I assume, um, Easter cake. It's basically a fruit cake, um, but there's a layer of marzipan inside and then you put marzipan on the top and 11 little marzipan balls. Um, the marzipan balls are kind of a Christian theme because um, each ball represents one of the apostles minus Judas. Um, but that's kind of what makes it an Easter cake, I guess. Um, but anyway, we're all about to play a game and I'm going to cut a couple of slices of this for everybody apart from the little cake thief, who, who well, the not so little cake thief who's already had a slice um, to have while we play our game. have snuck upstairs briefly to stash dive. Um, as I've mentioned before, I am part of um, a D&D &D group. We call ourselves the Crafty Dragons, um, all kind of crafty, crafty D&D &D players. Um, and lots of us are making um, crocheted dragons. And I picked this book up a little while ago for that purpose. And I want to make this little guy on the front. He's called Koji. There he is, Koji the baby dragon. Um, and it says he is literally like a one star skill rating. So he's literally the easiest amigurumi in this book, which considering my amigurumi skills are very, very minimal, <laughs> it's probably a good idea. Now it says I need sport weight yarn. I don't have sport weight yarn. Um, so I figured I could use either fingering weight or DK because sport weight's kind of in the middle of the two. So I've pulled out some DK. And I need some help choosing what to use. Um, so these are the three options that I've pulled out. I could go for a kind of um, blue-green dragon. In socks, I would imagine that this would micro-stripe. I've got no idea what, what it will do for crochet. But it will certainly be kind of a variegated dragon with the greens and blues. This is um, Beehive Yarns. And it is, um, oh, it was from her. She did a Marvelous Miss Maisel 
um, yarn club and I picked this one up. So it's Midgen Rose. Um, it's super pretty, but I've just never found anything to do with it. And it could make a good dragon. Um, otherwise, there's this, which could go for a kind of a more fiery dragon. This is from Lola at Third Volt Yarns. Um, and this is the Vulcan, Vulcan High Command colourway. Um, this is actually a merino cashmere nylon, um, so it's a bit more luxurious, which is the only thing that kind of puts me off using this. I don't know, do I need a cashmere dragon? Probably not, but it would make a really good, the colours would be really good. And then the final one is this one here. This is a um, Kate Celine colourway. Um, I don't know what the colourway is called, actually. Is it a Christmas one? Yes, it is. Look, Christmas tree. Um, but that could make quite a fun kind of rainbowy, magical, mystical dragon, maybe. What should I use? Let me know. Let me know in the comments and I will go with the most popular choice to make my lovely little Koji the baby dragon. Um, I don't know what I'll use for the extra bits, but this color, whatever colourway we pick, we'll go for the main, the main body um, of the dragon. And then I'll find some semi-solid scraps or something that I could use for the rest of it. But yeah, help me pick. Help me pick yarn for this project. It's a It's the pick of the day! This is called Higgly Hen. And this is the bind. And this is the front page. And this is the blab. And it's also the back page. And the bind actually keeps all of the pages together. So if you see on the inside, you can see that they're all the stuck in. So. Can you tell us what it's about, Jasper? And, and it's about... Higgly. And it's about that chicken and he's sitting on eggs. And what happens? And then he hops off and then they get cracking and he eats some stuff. And then they went all over the place and he can't see his eggs anywhere. And there's one, two, three eggs on this picture and a cat. And uh, yeah. last page. Yeah, I dropped it. And does she find all her he her eggs again at the end of the book? Yeah, I know. And he finds some in the horse's pen. And he finds some. Near the pig. Ooh. Wow, and you really like this book, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. And then he finds all his eggs, and then look. <gasps> what happened? They all hatched. Oh wow! And and the chicken is happy, and the ch and one of the chicks are waving. <laughs>